how's it going? As you can see, I broke my wrist the other day. Uh, coming home from work, I slipped on some black ice and uh, went down hard and uh, broke my wrist in the same spot I did when I was 22. Basically, um, pretty bad too. I have to go in for an operation in two days. It's Monday morning, the 14th of December. I have to go in 16th, 9 a.m. to have it operated on. Not looking forward to it very much. Uh, it's been taxing on me a bit, I'm trying not to think about it too much. But now, I'm off to the place where I'm going to be getting the operation done. It's uh, St. Joe's Hospital to the CAT scan part because they have to do a CAT scan because they want to get a better look at it before the operation. I went in on Friday and they were going to do all that, but the CAT scan machine is broken down. and uh, It's kind of a pain in the ass. I have to go all the way in there now for that, but anyway, this is going to make this short, this part, because uh, I want to just have updates of what happens uh, after I have the operation, description of how it felt, you know, because I'm going to be put under, you know, stuff like that. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. All right, I'm back from getting a CT scan. It went pew, like that, done in no time at all. I should mention when I broke this wrist a week ago Thursday, I was a little bit scared. I don't like going to hospitals and doing this thing. I really, really hate it. So I took five days till uh, this past Tuesday, uh, a week ago tomorrow, before I finally got this taken care of and it hasn't really caused a big issue, but anyway. Well, that was fun. Just got the COVID test and yeah. It's really uncomfortable sticking the thing way up your nose and that's really quick. Then my nose felt a little funny for just a little, not much for a while. But I've had the test. So it was kind of weird though. Um, the woman <coughs> that did the test, uh, the nurse, she told me that I'm supposed to self-isolate after the test, pretty much. And she says, but I, I read that you still have to go to work. I was like, yeah, I gotta train somebody to cover my shifts for the rest of the week. It's because you're not supposed to come in contact with people. And I'm just like, why am I hearing all these things? Like everything, like what? when I went in this morning to get a CAT scan, you know, I uh, get it done. I want to get the phone call, the pre-operation phone call before him to answer, ask all these questions, which I answer no, 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 no. At the end of it, she says, you need a COVID test. It's like, why do they tell you things at the last moment? It's just been so freaking complicated. It makes things a little more stressful than they need to be. Anyway, I've had it done. And uh, it'd be odd if it comes back that I'm positive. That means everything's off. All right, I gotta go watch some TV. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> finally here. Wednesday morning, the 16th of December, 6.10 in the morning. 611 actually and in less than 20 minutes my dad and I are driving off to the hospital to get my surgery uh, a little apprehensive quite apprehensive about this a little nervous but I just want to get it over with I just really want to get this over and done with and hope that I don't have to have too many more don't have to have too many more procedures okay we gotta go well as you can see I'm still alive the uh, operation was quite a, an experience. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but uh, when I got there, the first nurse told me to uh, take off all my clothes and put on the, the robe smock thing that they make you put on. Of course, I had privacy with a drape all around. Then I got in the cot, or sorry, on the, uh, on the bed, and was told at 8 o'clock in the morning, they would take me over to a certain room. Five minutes later, at 7.35, they took me over to that room. And I was, you know, they did a lot of preparations and things like that. Uh, one of the things they had to do is put some gel here and then put an ultrasound machine to do a little local ultrasound while they put in anesthetic to numb my arm from here down so I don't feel anything. That was just after 8 o'clock in the morning. 
around 8 o'clock in the morning. It's now just after 5. It's ni 9 plus hours over. I was told that this takes about 10 to 12 hours to wear off. And then I will start feeling pain in my wrist. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how much it's going to be at first. I'm feeling little tingly tingles there now in my fingers and hand and my whole arm. So it's probably going to wear off soon. So I was told to take some meds. They've given me a couple different meds. Opioid is called Tramadol. And I also have acetaminophen 325 milligrams. Anti-inflammatories and they're also painkillers. So I was told to take this for the first day or two with that and just to keep track of my pain to see whether or not I need to get a refill of these which I can get up to 18. I have six right now which I have to take them every four hours. So this is going to be fun. I've got to set up my bed properly so that I can prop my arm up and keep it above my heart. Oh, I should probably tell you what they did. Uh, they cut me open and they put in a small little plate and some pins and realigned me so I have metal in there now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I think I'm just going to cut this now. Okay, it's a small little thing. Here goes nothing. Too late now. Now at the same time, Supposed to take this one too. Okay. 50 bucks for these two. If I have to get more of those, it'd be more. A little bigger. Alright, so after laying there for about two hours listening to my iPod waiting for side effects to kick in that never did, I never got stoned, I never felt it put me to sleep, I pretty much figured I wasn't getting any side effects. So uh, <clears throat> a couple hours later, went to bed, woke up every four hours, taking one of these Trimadol pills, which is an opiate and and the acetaminophen every four hours I took one of each and uh, I have to say I was told by doctors and nurses there that the anesthesia that they put in here to knock my arm out I have to tell you an interesting story when they first did it they put my hand across my hand across my belly like this and all of a sudden I looked down and I saw my arm flop down to my side. But the weirdest thing, this phantom hand feeling, because my brain couldn't feel anything in my arm. So as far as it knew, it was the last memory of where my arm was. It was this phantom hand feeling, I had this tingling in my fingers of my hand right here that wasn't there anymore. It was the weirdest thing. But anyway, so they told me 10 to 12 hours before it would wear off. and. I get feeling back in my arm, but they didn't say how long it would take it to completely wear off, because I swear, throughout the night, 16, 17 hours in, I was still feeling all these weird sensations. It was a strange night, sleep-wise. It's the strangest feelings I've ever had sleeping. But these two together really helped me get through it. And uh, come Thursday morning, I had a decision to make, because this is an opiate, this tr Tramadol, and I was told by a nurse, and my parents were kind of concerned, as with my sister, that I didn't really need to take it any more than a day. And that's what the nurse said. 
So I was going to try after 20 hours, having only five of these pills, to stop taking them. Which I did. And just took one of these acetaminophens every four hours. So Thursday, as of one o'clock in the afternoon when I decided that, up until about eight o'clock at night, it was a little uncomfortable, felt like the swelling like was pressing against the cast and everything. It wasn't the best, but by 8 o'clock at night, it felt a little bit better, and I was able to sleep fine, just taking these every four hours. And, uh, but even though I said I didn't have any side effects, I actually did, because the next day, Thursday, I had constipation. Uh, even though I ate, I never really felt hungry all day. And as soon as I kicked the tramadol habit, I started getting sweats, like my brow would sweat, I was getting sweaty throughout the day. And I've had that a little bit once in a while too, the last couple days. Not today, but uh, yeah. So it wasn't fun and I'm glad I decided to stop taking those right away. Pretty much right away after a day. Not even. So after staying with my parents for one more night and sleeping half decently, uh, Friday we went and picked up my nephew, my dad gave me a drive home. And we went by No Frills, and uh, my nephew helped me carry my grocery bags and pack my grocery bags, and uh, they both helped me bring my stuff up to the park. And that was two days ago. It's now Sunday afternoon, the 20th of December. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've just been home, relaxing, watching TV. And in nine days, on tw the 29th, Tuesday, I go in to have this take taken, unwrapped, my stitches taken out and probably put in a proper cast, but I think until then and maybe even after, there isn't all that much more interesting to to continue this. If I do a part two, I do a part two. But uh, I think that's it. So it's time to edit the sucker together and make my broken wrist vlog. Thank you for watching, if you did.